Uh, every section had to have its own rules. Okay. Uh, so grammatically and with punctuation things, each section needed to be consistent. I, I hoped that there'd be rhythm within the sections and then through the building of the, the, the triptych, there might be a rhythm across the musicality across the whole, but also more importantly than any literary, um, like you know, reading it aloud and wondering whether it, whether it had a, um, a, a rhythm. Most importantly for me was that it was bird-like, that it hopped and moved. And I studied crows for quite a long time and got really obsessed with that extraordinary um, uh, range that crows have between the the scavenger behaviour where they are hopping and pecking and jabbing and murdering and doing grotesque things all the time that shock us when our pathetic fallacy wishes us to see them as beautiful but, and then they fly and they're very very elegant and playful and in flight and watching murders of crows I, w I went to Wales and tried to get into a kind of Joseph Boy's trance state <laughs> I walked around the Gallup Peninsula just hopping and thinking and then, thinking, and then, and then just doing this and, um, <laughs> and then walkers would be like Oh dear. <laughs> um, but yeah, so mo most of all, I wanted the book as a whole to, to have this musicality of the triptych, but also be crow like.